Sanjay, you spent the last year looking into heart attack uh, and heart disease for your special. Uh, you have a, a history of it in your family, and you've really studied how people can get away from that and get out from under that. What if you don't want to use medicine, statins, to reduce your risk of heart attack? Can you really use food as medicine? Well, you know, it's interesting, Al, yeah, Hippocrates has talked about this for more than a thousand years, and, the, and I walked into this with an open mind, but the answer is definitely uh, yes, you can. And we did find li living proof of this. Uh, Sh Sharon Kintz is a woman that we uh, profiled, 66 years old, had a heart attack, was told by her doctor she needed to have heart surgery, uh, and she said no. And she said, and she basically adopted this plant-based diet. As you can see there, uh, she's been very strict about it. Uh, you know, whole grains, lots of vegetables. Been doing it for over a year, and it, it's quite remarkable. Not only in how much she has not uh, had any symptoms of heart problems, but also in terms of her energy levels. And this is something that I, you know, really focused on with her. Uh, she could barely walk before all of this. And, and literally now, you know, a year later on this plant-based diet, she's, she's able to jump rope. I mean, t take a look at that, Allie. She, she couldn't do that before. And I'm not saying that obviously being on a plant-based diet taught her how to jump rope, but people always question, do you have enough energy still on one of these diets? Right. And we profiled her just, just to demonstrate. Is there science that proves it's working other than the fact that she can jump, jump rope, rope and she's fit? Well, you know, the, the, yes, the, there's, a, there's a couple of different things. First of all, you know, people really oftentimes want objective signs to show that there's, there's changes in someone's blood vessels. And we talked about this before, Ali, not just in terms of showing a slowing of heart disease, but an actual reversing of heart disease. In order to prove that, a patient would have to undergo another angiogram. Sharon's doing so well, she, she said she had no need to go undergo an angiogram. But let me show you a patient who did do that. And this is over a period of a few years. Uh, take a look over here, and I don't know if you can appreciate this where the arrow is. This is a coronary blood vessel, and this is what one of those narrowings looks like. This is what a heart attack waiting to happen looks like. This is someone who decided not to undergo surgery, which was recommended, instead using food as medicine. And take a look now over here, uh, same spot, and that, that coronary blood vessel is essentially, um, you know, it's opened up. It's about the same normal caliber as the rest of the blood vessel. That is sort of what we're talking about here, Ali, in terms of, uh, you know, providing some sort of objective evidence. Remarkably, despite the fact that, you know, again, Hippocrates has talked about this for over a thousand years, uh, this is still a relatively nascent science. So I think more yeah. studies are going to be done. You can see more images like that. And these patients that have been profiled who have followed these, these uh, diets uh, to, to reduce their, their clogging of their arteries, have they prevented heart attacks? Well, well let me tell you, yes. And let me tell you the, the study that basically pivoted me into saying we should do this as a full hour. It was a, it's, a, it's still a relatively small study because this is uh, some emerging science, but Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn, uh, you know, basically he followed patients for 12 years and what he found was that six patients out of a, of a group of about 18 dropped out of the study uh, and out of those six patients, they all had some sort of coronary event. Two patients died, four patients needed bypass surgery. Of the patients who stayed through uh, kept the diet, kept it going for, for, you know, 12 years, so most patients were able to do that. Uh, only one patient died in an autopsy. That patient did not have any evidence of heart disease. So again, Ali, wow. uh, you know, the evidence is pretty compelling, not only in terms of slowing down the progression, but, but really reversing it. These patients needed to have heart surgery, and then they essentially needed no interventions whatsoever over a 12-year period. That is incredible that you can undo that damage.